Welcome to Sir Tau, Ares 35. Glad to have another capable Ares pilot here. I'm Sheriff Misery, proprietor of law in this here dusty town of Dredge. A pleasure, Sherry. Likewise, but let's skip the pleasantries and start getting you set up for operations in Sir Tau. First thing we need to fix is your transportation situation. There's a man in town, name of Gunmetal Jack. He's one of the leaders of the Buzzards, a local gang. He can hook you up. A sheriff sending Ares to deal with gangsters? This seems a little irregular. Are you Gunmetal Jack? Oh, that name. Look, just call me Jack. I know I got a reputation to keep, but you Ares don't seem to care about the tough guy names. What are you called? Ares 35. See what I mean? <laughs> so, Ares 35, I assume you're in the market for an LGV, light ground vehicle, or as I like to call it, a bike. Of course, ain't nothing in this world for free, especially when it's coming to an end. I think we can come to an arrangement. I ain't gonna ask you to do nothing too crazy. I respect what Ares does, and don't want to spread dirt on your good name, or number, since you just arrived. I mean, we can start with something simple. I'm gonna need you to put those fancy weapon systems to work, culling some of the pests we got around here. The wildlife in Sertal makes Coral Forest look like a petting zoo, mind you, so don't get lazy. <laughs> Start clearing them out. Just need to keep numbers down so they don't get out of hand. Boss, are you all right? I'm detecting some sort of toxin in your body. Oh, damn it. I told them idiots to be more careful with those traps. Don't worry, your rig will flush them out in time. Just fight through it. Got an Astrek courier that could use a hand getting to Dredge. He got waylaid by some of the Sultan's bad boys. The Sultan? Yeah, he used to sit on a council of sorts we got here in Dredge. 
but he don't like sharing. We don't like people that think only they know best. There was a bit of a falling out. Hell, he calls himself the Sultan. He is highly hateable. An Ares pilot? And I thought this day was about to get real unlucky. I just need to get to Dredge safely. We'll walk you in. Guys. Why does the Sultan risk angering someone like this? He's like a tick getting fat off the ass of a Bronto Don. Usually they don't notice a few shipments missing here or there, but not always. Problem is finding the damn man. Thing. 
But do not piss off these corporations, trust me. Awesome. We arrived. Sure am glad you came along. Hey, Mr. Gunmetal, where do you want this data drive? Give it to the Ares pilot. Well, here you go. I'm gonna go get a drink now before heading back. Thanks. data drive to this location. One of my crew volunteered to take it and we'll meet you there. Why do people keep doing it this way? Sin is so much faster. Same answer as everyone else, I guess. Too easily compromised. Ain't many people on this planet anymore, so less data, which means less to sift through when you want to grab the good stuff out of thin air. some Astrek gear. Figured I could flush the rat out with a little cloak and dagger. <laughs> I was right. So that was the Sultan? I wish. Nah, just a lackey. One day, though, one day he'll be the one running around on fire. You should head back to the Sheriff. I heard she might have something to give you. Thanks for your help, 3-5.
Welcome back, Aries 35. Here you are, a special gift from Mr. Gunmetal Jack. It's just a blueprint, but take that and a bucket of resources to one of them molecular printers, and you should be able to build your own LGV. Thank you, Sherry. No thanks, Neat. You'll need those wheels around here. Have a good stay in dredge, pilot. Slips are trying to destroy OCT. If we align the nearby targeting dishes, we could use the orbital strike to blow them out of the sky. One targeting dish linked to OCT.
Mr. Speranzo, here in Dredge, is looking to hire you, boss. I'll patch him through. A pleasure, Ares 35. I believe your operator already told you my name. I represent parties interested in securing and solidifying the business of acquiring and trading Christite. Christite is plentiful in Sir Tau, but it is spread out, and the mining trade is far less organized than it was before the melding's arrival. While my employers encourage entrepreneurs interested in the energy resource trade, they also wish to minimize risk. This is where Ares comes in. I am offering to pay you to help secure various mining locations for prospectors. And the hope is that in return, they will contract with us to ensure constant security over their claims. Please, come and see me at your earliest 3-5. I have drafted contracts for three promising prospectors. I'll hand them off to you after we discuss details. Oh, you will do nicely. Those battle frames are very impressive. I think the combination of your capabilities and my financial backing will be tough to turn down. Here are the contracts. I will update your sin with their locations shortly. How are we supposed to convince them? You don't want us to frighten them, do you? No, no, nothing like that. These prospectors are running with very light security, and Sir Tao is a dangerous place. I suspect you will get ample opportunity to prove your mettle and convince them to sign on. The first prospector can be found here. The contract is simple. I guarantee security. In exchange for a percentage of Christite Hall and profits. Try not to press them. I do not want them to be discouraged. If they refuse, I will follow up later. Understood. Yes. Let's have a chat. What brings an Ares pilot out here? We wish to discuss a security contract for your mining operations.
Our next prospector has been described by many as a fool, but is also renowned for having a great eye for good Christite veins. Hopefully he won't be hard to convince. Just do what you did last time. Well, do you expect there to be rampaging monsters at the next site? <laughs> you never know, 3-5. Nah, man. <laughs> There he is. Why is he pulsing on Zin? Hey there, he's pilot. Howdy fine day. I found this weird little ball head. Started shaking and beeping as soon as I touched him. Oh my god, it's a hostile thin bit of me. What? I just picked up shots and signals in the area. They're being drawn to the signal. Ah! Save me! Done, boss. Good work. Uh, sir, is this a good time to show you a contract to provide security for a cut of your mining share? <laughs> Just give it to me. I'll sign. No way can I fight, Joseph. No way. Don't you want to read it or see the rain? Why? Won't get anything if I'm dead. Here you go. Thanks, Ares. You are good at this. Well, we have had some rather convenient opportunities to show off a little. The last prospector on my list is here. I saved the tough one for last, as I've heard he may be difficult to persuade. Well, if our good, or I suppose bad, luck continues with Hostile showing up, we might make an impression. Sir Tao can be a very dangerous place, 3-5. There he is. Let's talk to him. Man, Ares, what the hell do you want? We wondered if you had considered the security of your mining operations. Yeah, but I think I got it handled. There's the claim. Let's do this. Hey, what the hell's an Ares pilot doing here? Handled, eh? Let's discourage these young men, boss. are gone. Well, sir, what do you think of your security opportunities now? I think I'd rather call my brother in the buzzard when I need a hand. I appreciate the help, but I can handle some punks who think they're hot to try. So, that's a no? Yeah, that's a no. I trust my brother, Mickey the Ranch, over anyone else. Understood. Mr. Spronzo, you are right. The last prospector was a no. That is quite all right, 3-5. I'm sure you will come around eventually. I can be very convincing. I have no more contracts to address. Please return to me, and I will see that you get paid.
Thank you, 3-5. You did fine work. I will follow up with the last prospector. He said he had a brother in the buzzards that watched his back. Is that so? This brother have a name? Yeah, a funny one. Mickey the Wrench. Hmm, good to know. Thank you again, 3-5. I'll be in touch. <laughs>